As I listen to you, it's, it's interesting to me because what you're talking about is something that I practice without psychedelics. In other words, if I feel fear, I'm going to move towards it. Fear to me is a green light. It's, a, it's an illumination that there's something of value there to be um, experienced. Yeah, and I, I agree with that. It also, but it also depends on the fear, right? So in our body, we have a fear response, right? And so I, I break this down in, my, in decomposing the shadow. Just like we have acute fear and we have chronic fear. Yeah. Acute fear is something that's natural, it's beautiful, it's what keeps us alive. Fight danger is presented yeah. yeah, danger is presented into our environment and we become we have a fear, we have fight or flight, we save our lives maybe. Right? Yep. Chronic fear means that there isn't anything in our environment to present danger. It's just like an ongoing perception of danger, which isn't usually anything in our environment but an element of ourselves that we're afraid of dealing with. And so we're constantly in a fight or flight situation or we're we're just producing unnecessary anxiety and thus, you know, from anxiety we start to offload this psychological baggage onto our body, you know, into our organs or into our muscles and then we develop inflammation in different ways and over time we develop different diseases or illnesses, you know, based on the offloading of this of this psychological, um, these psychological challenges onto our physical body. Yeah, I'm with you there. I, I think dis-ease is, is definitely a result of um, stopping that kind of flow, right? The natural flow would be just to allow whatever was occurring to occur and feel it. Yeah, whether it be a psycho-emotional blockage or it be a blockage that was generated from living in a toxic environment without the appropriate things to facilitate a healing in that degree. Or, or childhood wounds, too, you'd put in Absolutely. that category, right? So yeah. do you actually see the use of um, these teacher plants and medicines as a way of healing wounds and trauma from the past? I feel as though they have that potential. Um, I, I would just like to, you know, also state that I don't feel that they're for everybody. And with this book, um, I by no means in any way am encouraging anybody to try this. I'm simply saying that this is a method that has worked for me and we can see through history and through science now that there seems to be supportive arguments as to why it's working and if you're choosing to, to utilize it like this is the manner in which I navigated it that had the most efficacy for me and the way that I've come to understand the way that it works from a contemporary language you don't need to buy into um, any cultural dialects from thousands of years ago or from another side of the planet or from deep in the jungle. It's directly personal with you, it's contemporary and it's you know, it it, it talks about us as people now mm -hmm. exploring this.